Every year I managed to be surprised by dusk when we're out about in the neighborhood after dinner. Don't worry, that's not one of our headlines. It's just my problem every single September. Hi, I'm Sam Rollins, Chief of Communication for Santa Cruz City Schools with your weekly news. And this week, we've got the Latino Role Models Conference this weekend. The drive for schools has kicked off. We want to explain the social emotional health survey that our students take every year, preview the upcoming Rainbow Conference from our partners at the Safe Schools Project, and share a unique opportunity from Santa Cruz Shakespeare. But first, have you signed up for free food yet? You know what only takes four minutes helps the district maintain our funding for math, language supports, counseling, and more? Of course you know that. And you can find a sign up at link number one. Thank you so much. Now, the Latino Role Models Conference is this weekend, Saturday the 14th at the Cabrillo College Crocker Theater starting at 9 a.m. This free event is a fantastic local tradition put on by our partners at Senderos. It's a celebration of success and possibility where students and families can be inspired and empowered together. You can learn more at link number two. And if you need a ride, you can have a look at the bus schedule we've put below because the school district would love to take you there. Did you know about the Drive for Schools? This is a countywide fundraiser sponsored by the Boardwalk, who secures prizes for a big raffle to raise funds for your school. There's an award for the classrooms and the schools that sell the most tickets, and you could win anything from a bagelry gift card to $25,000 in cash if you participate. Please look for messages and envelopes from your school to take part in the Drive for Schools. You can always learn more at link number three. We are currently engaged in the social emotional health survey that our students take every year, and we want you to know more about it. This survey, organized in partnership with UC Santa Barbara, is taken by kids in grades 3 through 12 and helps us understand the needs and social emotional developmental state of our students. This 20 minute survey is basically a temperature check to see what our students need from their schools and their counselors, how connected they are, and it gives us such valuable data on anxiety, connectedness, student hopes, and needs, and it helps guide the work that our counselors do every year. Trends and needs are discussed with teachers and staff so they can all make plans on how best to support students. And sometimes it helps us identify a student who's struggling with something that can't easily be seen otherwise. Mental health is paramount in a kid's development and in their success, and so this is one of the ways that we better understand it among our students. Feel free to email me any questions you have. My email is down below. In a couple of weeks, the Safe Schools Project will host a rainbow conference for LGBTQ plus middle and high school students. Uh, featuring workshops, a community resource fair, and connection with breakfast, snacks, and lunch provided. It will be on Saturday, September 28th from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. at Watsonville High School. You can learn more and register at link number four. We've also received a casting call. Santa Cruz Shakespeare is looking for child actors to perform in their winter show, A Christmas Carol. If your student between the ages of 5 and 12 is interested in performing on the big stage, auditions will be held on Saturday, September 28th at, uh, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Vets Memorial Hall downtown. Rehearsals will be in mid-November and parents and guardians will need to be present. And to learn more, please email Santa Cruz Shakespeare at the email address at link number 5. And a quick piece of trivia, I was actually in the very first holiday production that they did as a child actor. So that means somewhere out there, there is a picture of me dressed as a Christmas mouse in Wind in the Willows. And of course, I can't let you go without quickly reminding you that your school has made it to the list of healthiest schools in America that's published by the Alliance for a Healthier Generation. You can read more about that at link number six. And finally, we move on to our weekly feature. This week, we hear from students who took part in the superintendent's advisory on race and equity to put student voice and leadership into the district process of improving all of our supports and policies to best serve and include everyone. Have a look and have a great weekend. It's been really nice. I thought it was really inclusive and like even though they're different ages and different schools, it didn't really matter because like we're all kind of here for a common goal.
It was really exciting and it was really inspiring hearing the younger generation and middle school students speak up about how they felt. Stuff like this it just helps build a community and I just want to help make it better for other people. I really liked it. There were a lot of things that people contributed to the conversation that I would have never thought of before and that's what I really liked about it. It's been my honor to serve as superintendent of Santa Cruz City School for 11 years and what that means is I'm the lead teacher and it's my job to remove all the obstacles for the school sites. I think we, and what we've been doing is like really important and really good and it's like also really fun. Like we've been doing a bunch of group projects, we get to work outside. How might we spread awareness of the A through D requirements for SoCal High students? We challenge student one about the school culture. I really like it. I think it's a really good way to engage especially younger students. Really being able to just work with everyone has been a really cool experience and get to talk about everyone's ideas from a different perspective of younger people and older people. It's just fun to help out and then so like that the schools can be like better places. The A through G requirements. Yeah. How do we get the percentages to be 